So, how do you like the squirrel? Has a tang on the tongue, a hint of grass, a s smell like skunk. Needs salt. Use your sweat. Use your sweat. What I'm saying is that in some cases, it's it's normal to improvise when you don't got it, huh? What are you shaking your head for? We got food, don't we? It's disgusting. Listen, close your eyes and pretend this little guy is one of them big fat steaks you see rich folks eating the pictures. To tell you the truth, I don't care much for meat, especially if I saw it moving before. How do you not care for me? What gives, kid? I don't like eating things that once had families. Big dreams and thoughts of their own. Thoughts, thoughts of their own? Yes, let me tell you something. You think this squirrel cared if it was eaten by a fox or run over by one of them automobiles or eaten by us? Nah. The way I see it, it's the triangle of life. Or whatever Shakespeare said. Squirrels. Their brains is the size of a peanut. It's not like they're people and families. Families? You mean like Leonardo's Carnival of Wonders? Boris the Giant, Tata the Monkey? That was family. This was a really rotten idea. A really rotten idea. Not good at all. Eating squirrel you have me <laughs> oh, what did I tell you about crying? Oh, damn, I'm well crying if I want to. These three days have been hard. <laughs> if we didn't leave, you know what would have happened. Right? You remember what happens to people who cross old Leonardi? Huh? Huh? That cane? <laughs> exactly. Hey, watch that. Look at this. Now, now this, this. This is worth the risk. It's everything. With this, we could we could buy some land, and, and I could I could build my estate. And you don't gotta glue on that beard, and, and you could get those coloring books you always wanted, huh? And and guess what? We don't gotta eat squirrel no more. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna eat in big restaurants with important people. Just like the ones we see in the pictures, huh? You know? Beautiful. Tailored suits with a boot tie. <laughs> Looking all important and everything. <laughs> that is what we are going to get with this. Now, my sister's friend's brother's friend's got some connections in Chicago. They uh, did some work for Capone. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> I don't care what the papers say about him. That Capone's going to be president one day. Is it? It is. Uh, it, 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 what did I tell you about stuttering? It gives me indigestion. Is it haunted? Uh, what? No. Oh, the, the jewel? Nah, don't be superstitious. No. Rest of something. That's just some uh, uh, old, old Leonardo told so people wouldn't steal it. No, no, it's haunted. You know it is. Ah, come on. Don't lie. Okay. All right. Okay. Huh? It's haunted. <laughs> you be serious. Uh, all right. All right. Um, it's what they say, but it's a story. Then tell me the story. You are finished at? Right, you give me half, I'll tell you my story. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Mm, okay. Oh, delicious. Mm. Okay. So there was this man, this man, and he was a great explorer from the Amazon jungle. Where's the Amazon? Oh, that is in France. Well, maybe it's in a little south, maybe Georgia. The Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So he goes exploring. And he went into one of these stone temples in, in the jungle. 
No, one of those uh, structures that have uh, cats engraved all around it. And he finds a tool. So he cracks it open, he peeks in, and he sees this whole bag of bones holding this jewel wrapped in a cloth with letters all around it. So he goes to reach for it. As he's reaching, bam! The mummy starts to speak. If you take this jewel, it will come at a great price. How much did he pay? He didn't pay for it. The price is that everyone who has the jewel will be hunted down, his souls collected in three days should the jewel not be returned. So the guy was like, Hey, his mummy thinks he's gonna chase me out. <laughs> Takes the stone and he heads back home to, to England. And then they find him dead. Three days later in this fancy mansion in Bristol. Throat cut open, blood drained from his body and his tongue Missing. And now the stone is gone. And everyone who has it suffers the same fate as that explorer fellow. Well, why didn't Leonardi die? Nobody died. It was a lie. It was a jewel. That's it. it is that what the carnival always moves around? It's a story. But, but, but isn't it strange that the carnival moved every three days? Um, do you see any uh, mummies walking around, huh? Any fairies? I, I thought I heard something. Alright, it's just a feel nice. You get close to that fire. I'm gonna take a squat. Alright? And uh, tomorrow, we're gonna track west to Chicago. Wait, which, which way? Uh, you, you gotta follow the moon or, or something like that. Uh, that way. Oh, good lord. First thing we're going to do is we're going to steal some new clothes. We're going to burn these. All right? Now, you keep an eye on this, all right? This is going to take a while. You don't think I'll steal it? I got eyes in the back of my head. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Pretty thing.
think you and Covetti have something of mine? I, I, I don't want it. Please, save me. Oh, that's what we're here to do. <laughs> and this is for stealing from Madame Leonardi, you snake. How dare you? After I took you in, I fed you and taught you. Oh, stupid girl. You don't even know what you have done. <gasps> Go. Follow it. Hold it off until daybreak. Go! Ah, oh, stupid girl! You can't outrun a fortune teller! <laughs> we always know where you are, even if you don't. Ah, oh, stay there! Up to mighty London came an Irish man one day. All the streets were paved with gold and everyone was gay. Oh, pipe down, Woody, we're on the hunt. Tough crowd. So what are we supposed to hold for? Cavetti, I think. And that man's drunk, he's like three apes. What's that? Shake us up! Come out, Cavetti! Is that a dog? I ain't hanging about with no rabid dog. It's no dog! What's that smell? Ah, 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 ah,